Hey Jack, look, it's your mom's hole. Nah, I'm kidding. Hey everybody, it's Nocturne Angel, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Fable Lost Chapters for the PC. Let's step through the gate and begin the final battle against Jack of Blades. Is it Jack of Blades or the Jack of Blades? I think it's just Jack of Blades. Eh, whatever. Still looking good with that beard of mine and the flies, the scars, and the red eyes. Are we in a volcano? Kind of weird considering like this whole area was snow and tundra and now just a random volcano. It's been a long wait, but I knew you'd free me eventually. I wonder what Jack looks like without his mask. It's always the puppet. Don't you ever get tired of having your strings pulled? Eh. I am no mortal man. The gods and demons you fear and worship are as nothing to me. Well, so that's what it looks like without his mask. Why would he ever keep it on, then? Yeah, me. Alright. So, in this fight, I will be using Berserk, but not Multi-Strike. I'm restricting myself to one. Berserk, mainly because of defense boost, and this guy can otherwise one-shot me, to my knowledge. Fuck, dive. Okay, we're gonna Oh, shit! Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, he hurts. Oh fuck. All this heat, all these flames. It's just like the day Oakvale burned. You motherfucker. Ow! Yeah, he hurts really bad. Oh shit. Oh come on. I have existed for millennia. You can't possibly comprehend what I am. I was about to use bo uh Holy shit, I can't get the right spell. Have you yeah, but I was about to use no multi-strike there, right? You are to me now. Why is he taking no damage? there we go, now he takes now he takes Oh fuck ow 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 Yeah, he hurts. But just with enough strength. Holy shit! Actually, you know what? No, let's finish him off in style. Style. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, with the stick! Yeah, no cool sort of Aeons in the final cutscene. But, oh well. Yeah, even only use. If I would have used Idle One, the fight would have been easy. You must destroy the mask. Whatever you do. Must not wear it. All right, guess we'll destroy it. Wait, what? The gods end me not now. Huh? Can you hear me? It is vital you cast the mask away. Listen to me. Destroy the mask now. The power of the gods. Immortal. Immortality. Destroy it! Hmm. Yeah, I want to be immortal. I told you I could not be killed so easily, hero. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, we, uh... It's not exactly a wrong choice, but it just feels more evil to me to do that. The dragon was slain, and yet a tremor ran through the world. Skies darkened, and every man, woman, and child in Albion succumbed to a petrified hush. The hero and Jack of Blades were one. Yay. What chaos and pain they would bring, none could say. Not yet. Yet here our tale must end. And what happened to the guild and its heroes? That is a story for another time. That is a story for Fable 2. And yes, viewers, that is the ending of the game, and let the credits roll. All in all, this game is easily in my top five. Maybe even the top three. I don't know. Mainly because it does one of my favorite things in games, and that is the morality choices. If a game has moral choices like good or evil, 
one, I will always lean towards evil. I've always loved being evil in games. Just probably because I'm such a naturally nice person. Yeah, I know. Maybe I sound a little conceited there, but I'm naturally nice, you know? So, being evil has always been fun to me. Plus, it always seems to be more rewarding. Um, and our thing is, it's kind of an old-timey game with, you know, magic and swords and you know, kind of like a knight and whatever. I've always loved that sort of style, you know, which is why I like games like Oblivion, Skyrim, um, Dragon Age, uh, Fable, of course. Can't exactly think of any others right off the top of my head, but if I gave it some more thought, I'd probably... Oh, Mountain Blade! Mountain Blade is a real... Not Mount and Mountain Blade. Mount and Blade. You know, I've always loved those games. They're pretty good. And, uh... All in all, this game, it's, it's one of my favorites, easily. Out of the Fable series, I, it's definitely the best. It's not as funny or, uh... It's a lot more dark than 2 and 3, but all around it's so much better than 2 and 3. But I really don't know what else, what else, what else to say. I mean, it was my first LP, and man, it felt like it flew by. I remember talking to my my cousin asked me how long he thought it would take me to finish it earlier, and I said, "Oh, at the rate I'm going, probably 30 to 35 parts." Hell no, I stopped on 21. It went by a lot faster than I thought it would. Maybe the game just felt longer to me. But going into the game, I really didn't know much about it, or I knew a lot about it. I just hadn't played it in a while. Uh. Hence why I decided I'm not going to get all the silver keys, not open all the demon doors, not do really much with the Chapel of Scorn and such. But I got to show you a few little tricks, like wiping out Whisper with the stick, uh, what else did I do? Oh, showing you how to get the Harbinger early on, that was interesting. Yeah, that Harbinger was such a nice weapon. Sword of Aeons, this is my favorite weapon in the game, but the Harbinger, I use the most, because you don't get the Sword of Aeons until afterwards. Also, uh, also, if you, well, I don't know, I'm not going to say anything because something I've been contemplating is maybe much later on I'll come back and redo the game as a good character, you know, do a good playthrough. Something I've actually never done this game, well, I tried but I never finished, was a good character playthrough. I think I got up to the arena and I stopped. I don't know if I was, I don't think I did much after that. But, nah, Lionhorn, Lionhorn. Lionhead babies born during the making of Fallout. Fall Fable, the Lost Chapters. Wow, that's bad. Baby board. They named a kid Baby Board. I think that's what they named it. Hope not. And that's our mom being a badass. Yeah, they're just showing off all the like little artwork cutscenes. I wonder if we'll see ourselves uh, what is it, in the prison getting tortured? That'd be interesting. Hmm. Those are. That was a pretty cool artwork, especially when we're like behind the chains, looking all muscular. Like yeah. Oh, hey, what do you know? There I am. Hi! Yeah. These credits, it kind of lies to you. Because usually when it comes to credits, it says special thanks, and that's the end of it. You're like, alright, special thanks, it's over. But, nope, this game's like, ah, we're gonna trick you, have special thanks, and then artists, animations, babies. I'm like, really? I don't care. No, that's, it's with credit. Anytime there are credits, you never really care to watch them, or look at them, pay attention to them. What I like is games that do the games in the credits. Like, one I can remember off the top of my head is New Super Mario Bros. Wii, I think? <laughs> Where in the after it, you could break the letters like they were blocks. That was fun. I've always... When games let you have little games in the credits, it makes me actually sit inclined to... It makes me inclined to sit there and play the credits. Oh, another one that pops into mind is Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Where you get to shoot the final boss more during the credits and see how many times you can hit him. You know? I like it when games do that. But, at least this game gives you something to look at. I mean, rather than just black screen, white letters. No, it actually gives you something to look at. I think some of the longest credits I've ever seen in a game was Assassin's Creed. I think it was Assassin's Creed 2 that I remember most. Goodness gracious, that was ridiculous. I beat the game like, cool. I went, made myself pizza rolls or something. You know, I had, I don't know, 15, 20 or whatever. Came back like five minutes later. The credits are still rolling. Like, are you fucking kidding me? So I turned on TV, watched it for a couple minutes, came back. Credits are still rolling. I'm like, what the hell? It's been ten minutes. Please stop. I don't know why some games have to do that. Why they have to take so long. But, you know. Something I noticed about video game credits. They slow. They scroll really slow. Video game and movie credits. 
But when it comes to, like, TV shows, their credits scroll, like, you know, just flying up at 90 miles an hour or something. <laughs> oh, that was a gross burp. Oh, I remember that scene. That was when we, uh, we kind of, uh, killed our sister there. But we got the sword. We got the cool sword. I mean, oof, imagine going through that area without the sword. Holy cow. And again, we would have the Harbinger, and that was strong enough, but all the same. Now, actually, uh, one thing I do know about Good Guy Playthrough, I haven't done it yet, but I've looked up a little bit on, like, the Fable wiki or whatever. If you didn't get the Sword of Aeons, actually, back in the original Fable, not the Lost Chapters, the Sword of Aeons had, had like, 500 or something damage. It was ridiculous. But then they came out with the Lost Chapters, and they brought it down so that you wouldn't just one-shot everything going through this part of the game. You know, the expansion. Now, say you were going to be a good character, so you wouldn't get the Sword of Aeons. What they did was they added one for good characters, around the same time you get the Fireheart, called Avos Tear. Which, you know, it sounded pretty cool. It was the exact same sword, except a different color. Is this when we fought Jack of the Dragon? Yeah, Jack is a dragon. But anyway, yeah, exact same sword, just to give good characters a bit of an edge, too. As for the ending of this game, uh, I've never thrown away the mask. I don't know why, I figured that's a good guy thing to do, and I haven't played a good guy yet, I probably should. I'm not going to go back and redo the ending during this LP, I won't. I'm sorry, that's just not what I'm going to do. But maybe, you know, if I ever do decide to take up that idea to LP the game again as a good character, yeah, I'll get to see what it's like, but in the three, no, four times I've beaten this game, I've only done it as evil characters, it's more amusing to me that way. And honestly, this is my favorite way to play as a, kind of a warrior mage. Archery, I've never cared too much for. I tried one as just a straight archer. Couldn't do it. Didn't work. Straight mage, that was a little easier, and I was able to do it. But the mostly warrior is just my favorite thing to do. Honestly. And another thing I don't like about being a good character, I can't get berserk. Well, I can, but it's gonna fuck up my alignment modifier. Why? I like berserk. I've abused... I use that in this LP. I won't lie. I've used Berserk and Multi-Strike more than I should have, but they're such good spells. How can I not? Seriously. At least I tried to restrict it during the last couple boss fights, you know? Except for the Guildmaster. Holy cow. If I didn't use Berserk and Multi-Strike on that, I would have been fucked. I mean, like I said, this is my second take of recording this because my mic was really quiet the first time. I tried not to use Berserk and Multi-Strike on a Guildmaster, and I used like three Resurrection Files where I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. It's not worth it. So, you know. Everybody has their limit. I hit mine pretty quickly. Oh, here are the babies born during the making. Holy cow. How long does this game take to make? Hang on, let's count the babies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26 children. Damn. Whoa! Wow, work experience testers. Holy cow, that is a lot. Now, the main reason I'm sitting here, uh, and actually looking at the credits rather than saying, Alright guys, I'm Nocturne Angel thing, this has been Let's Play Fable, you guys can watch the credits roll where I go off and masturbate. I'm just kidding. Is because, at the end of the credits, there's a little special thing that happens. If you wore the jacket, if you... Let your character wear Jack of Blades Max mask. And I want to show that off, you know? And I don't want to just let you sit here and be in complete silence. I want to talk with you guys, you know? Converse. Make conversation with my viewer. Yeah, my viewer. I only got, I've only got like seven viewers, so... Yeah. My viewers ain't popular yet. One day, I will make it to the top. But for now, I really don't care too much about the views. This LP was honestly fun to make. And it gave me a good reason to go back and play a game again, you know? When it comes to replaying games, there are very few that I can play many, many times. This is one. However, I didn't think I'd touch it again after I beat a few got few times, and just the idea of making an LP gave me a reason to go back and do it. And it was a lot of fun. I liked making the LP, you know? Going back and looking at some of my episodes, uh... Anyway, yeah, this is where basically the credits are over. Back to seeing our early days at the guild with where did that come from? It didn't scroll up, it just like randomly showed up like, Hey buddy, how you doing? I'm here. It's not over yet. I mean, come on. And there's Maze, uh... He's like a priest, and I'm one of the choir... Choir boys. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding! God damn. The kid that we play as looks retarded. 
Okay, now retarded, but he looks angry as hell. Look at his face. Anyway, the game is auto-saving. And here's our character. However, there's uh, one thing different about me that you probably can't see yet. Why don't I show you by pressing H? Yep, we are wearing the mask of the Jack of Blades. It doesn't affect anything, it's just, you know, it's just a nice little thing that they toss in there after you beat the game. I'm a legendary spell warrior called Gladiator. I'm maximum scary. Blah blah blah, I've killed two ice trolls, seven summoners, one wasp queen, one kraken. Highest combat multiplier. When did I get 35? Eh, whatever. Sexuality. Oh, right. <laughs> Whoops. My favorite region, the Heroes Guild. Well, I kind of end off every episode there. Of all the boasts I took, I completed all of them because I know what I can and can't do. Teetotaler! God damn it. Whatever. Anyway, we gotta find somewhere good to end this episode off at. I mean, this is the finale. How about right back in the Archon's Folly? Okay, or the game can cock block me. Whatever, we'll find somewhere else to go. Hmm. What is a good place? Lost Bay or Contrary. I'm trying to think. I know where I'm gonna go. I know a good place as good a place as I need to finish it off. Oh, right, and I probably should uh Equip an actual weapon rather than carry around the stupid little stick. Alright, anyway, let's walk in this direction for a little bit while I am drunk off my ass. Mm, don't try. I am a god, and you're gonna tell me not to try anything, motherfucker? I'm just kidding. Anyway, in here, or up here, over here. Yep. Our old house, our place of birth. Let's buy it. It's a good place to say to end off a wonderful game and my first LP where it all began. Everybody, this the Nocturne Angel. This has been Let's Play Fable, the Lost Chapters for the PC. Hope you all have a good day, and I am out.